Those that follow Texas Scorecard know we endeavor to go to great lengths to bring readers the stories they need to know to be effective and informed citizens. Sometimes that means the Texas Capitol. Sometimes that means the southern border. But it also means going to the Texas Democrat Convention, held this year at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center in Dallas. Texas Scorecard applied in June for press credentials, and as recently as the week prior was assured by party staff that we should be all set. But the day before the convention started, we were told that they didn't have room for us. When we asked again, we were denied again. Additionally, the Texas election code is clear. The news media are entitled to attend the Democrat and Republican convention, so we headed inside. Upon arrival, it was clear the convention center was far from at capacity. I'm realizing now as we've kind of walked just in that I might be sticking out like a sore thumb because I feel like I'm one of the only people not wearing a face mask right now. Last question, you've got the Beto shirt on. What do you think his chances are in November? 50-50. What do you think the chances are for Democrats uh, from Beto on down to the state legislature uh, in November in Texas? I don't know. That's tough. Do you think that uh, Joe Biden will be the nominee for the party in 2024? I think it's too early to tell. Do you think that Joe Biden will be the nominee in 2024? So Joe Biden was not who I voted for in the primary. I'm not going to predict wins across the board but I think there are going to be some surprises. I think that uh, Joe Biden will be the nominee uh, in, in 2024? That's a hard question. <laughs> That's a hard question. I'm a yellow dog Democrat, so if Joe Biden runs, I'm going to vote for him. Uh, but maybe someone else could run. But uh, Because of the gas prices, we've got big inflation, That this might be a bad year for Democrats. Do you, do you agree with that? Well, it could be, but we need to get the word out. I think if people understood where the Democrats stand, that they would go with it. Do you think that some of the national stuff like inflation, like high gas prices, uh, is going to have an effect on, on Democrats' chances this November? Well, I think people have to understand that people are not just one issue. I guess all of the Democrat ticket this year, Beto O'Rourke at the top and then on down looking at the, the state legislature. Um, I'm looking at, I mean, it's it's Texas. I'm going to be honest. I mean, there's a chance. Got real close in the Senate, and uh, uh, um, uh, Greg has had, uh, got a lot of baggage this this, uh, this time. The rest of the Democrat ticket from, you know, Beto on down to, like, the state legislative seats. What do you think the chances are of Democrats taking those over this session? Actually, I think the chances from Beto all the way down to the county positions that there's a great... Um, possibility. Uh, I think Beto is going to make a great representation. I think he's going to be a great governor. Do you think that uh, Joe Biden will be the nominee in 2024? Yeah. Yeah, I think he will. I do think age is an issue, but he's not who I voted for in the primary, so I'm okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you so much. Everyone we interviewed was eager to chat and pleasantly so surprised that anyone from the media so seemed much. to care what they had it. to say. So After holding polite, informative interviews for over an hour, this happened. Well, would you, would you like to talk? Would you like to, uh, we're just here to talk to, to people at the Democrat convention. We've been to, been to. Um, Empower Texas is a fascist organization, and f you guys. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. You don't have credentials. Upstairs. Yeah, go. No. You're not delegate. Keep rolling. They soon came back with security staff from the convention center. Um, I forgot to go. Yeah, bye. 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 So you are Sorry, in. I'm sorry. Okay, you're not invited, so we ask you. Okay, where's the, where's the connection? The exit is right there. No one can start the exit. You're not getting credentials. Credentials are for going. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fuck you, Lucas. Kicked out. So this is the Democrat Party right now, right? Uh, but uh, we got the chance to talk to a lot of folks. Uh, this is very interesting. You think that's funny? Fuck you. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I really like this reaction from Pud. So.
Thank you. So if you couldn't tell what happened in the shakeup, uh, we got kind of a mob of, of, uh, of people that came over and uh, just started uh, interrupting while we were having a nice conversation with the gentleman there, um, kicking us out, calling us uh, fascists, um, saying, you know, we're not a, a what she yell at the end there, something about uh, well, this is not a Christian, you know, country, the Christian state. Uh, just some wild stuff there. And so uh, now we're back outside, I guess, you know. <laughs> It's, uh, it's not as hot as it's been out, so that's a plus. But uh, that, was, uh, that was crazy. That's the Texas uh, Democrat Convention for you. Uh, that's, the, that's the party that uh, says they're going to win in November. So we'll see.